A man who landed on Iwo Jima during World War II is turning 100. He talks about his experience and shares his message for this generation. Here's Christian von Pricing and photojournalist Israel Almeida. Smile! It's a time to celebrate. <laughs> a big birthday for a veteran. And when the Marines come, we're going to have... When the Marines come? Here yeah. they come. Corporal Bill Morganroth. The Marines have landed. Oh, oh, almost went, <laughs> we almost hit a hole. With family. I almost hit the beach. And new friends. <sighs> this is my son, Roman. His birthday entourage is on the way. Doesn't it just make you feel young again? It makes me feel a little bit important, and I don't know why. The veterans in red of the United States Marine Corps. I thank you for coming. No problem. I can say Semper Fi to you. Semper I can Fi, tell. Dildo, I can how tell. are you today? <laughs> Very good. Bill Morganroth from Brownsville. Morgan is morning. Roth is red. Red morning. Drafted in 1944 to a demolitions unit. Flamethrower and bazooka. He joined the 5th Marine Division. It's an honor and a privilege to celebrate your birthday together with you today. On his 100th birthday, Morgan Roth is just one of a small fraction. We're all pretty, pretty old. A veteran's alive today to tell what happened. He says, if you want to be a Marine, you're eligible. So I thought, well, that's maybe I'd like to do that. His home shows where the war took him. He said during that time, men didn't want to be left out. They would make fun of the guys sometimes that, uh, that couldn't pass the, uh, the draft test. After training, when he was 21 years old, he landed in Iwo Jima. I went in the first day, day one. I went in noon day one. The first wave went in about 8 o'clock. I went in just before noon, so, and I was there for the whole thing. Iwo Jima, that's what we were trained for. It was bad there. It was terrible. It was a small island, but, but well, there was a lot of blood. His unit, tasked with finding Japanese concrete bunkers and blowing them up, slowly advancing up the island. And sometimes they would go fall into our foxholes with us. And we had bayonets on our rifles. We put bayonets on because we knew it could happen. I don't think you knew what you were getting into for sure. You just thought you did. When do you think you realized what you were getting yourself into? Well, I think when I was going ashore and uh, I saw all those bodies in the water, they were bobbing, a lot of them. They didn't make it to Iwo Jima or ashore. Morgan Roth fought for a month and was injured by artillery. <laughs> smile, Bill, smile. I feel more important than I am. <laughs> he came home to raise three daughters and a son, travel North America, and enjoy his life. Do 100 push-ups in your <laughs> honor. So you better make it 200 because they're pretty aggressive. <laughs> One. One. Wait, two, One. three, three. I thought we might see Joe Biden out there for a minute. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, hi. 78 years after that battle. You like it? Bill Morgan Rock. <laughs> Cherishes what came after. We have a house on fire. No, 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 we don't want them on fire. Hundred candles. Ready? One, two, three. three. Whoa! What do you want our generation to know about war? Well, I think uh, really to try anything first before you go to war. That, that, that's about as best, best as I could, close as I could get to it. I, I don't know exactly. I don't have the answer. Maybe I'm not smart enough, but uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of other things we can do. We could talk more, even if it's just talk. Get to know one another more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Morgan Roth is sharing the moments he witnessed in history. Happy birthday, sir. I'm glad I can sit here today with you. Very nice. Have you talked much about your experience? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm more loose with it now than I used to be. I, I used to dream about it a little bit. But I think I got to the fact that uh, convinced myself why maybe it's worth talking about. Maybe it'll stop the next war. Loaded. A day to celebrate. Marines have landed, Bill. I guess they have. In a big way. And a day to remember. God bless you, Bill. God bless America. Happy birthday, Double Dog. On the day Corporal Bill Morganroth turns 100, the hardships behind him at his home in Brownsville. Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News. Now, Christian got the chance to talk to Corporal Morgan Roth at length about the Battle of Iwo Jima and his experiences coming home. We're going to post this interview on KRGV.com. And from all of us here at Channel 5, sir, happy birthday and thank you for your service.